Okay, this question obviously wants us to work out a missing angle. Now, they seem to like these particular questions because they involve isosceles triangles. And that's how we can tell it's an isosceles triangle because of these two little marks here. So they tell us that these two sides are the same length, which means it must be an isosceles triangle. Okay? Now the thing that we know about iso isosceles triangles is yes, they have two equal lengths, but also the angles at the bottom of those lengths are also the same. Okay? So if that's 65 degrees, that is also 65 degrees. Okay? Now before I rush on ahead, this question also says give reasons for your answer. So you can't just go on steam ahead and work out the missing angle. You've got to give reasons. Now I've mentioned some so far. I've got to write them down in a coherent way that makes sense. So here we go. First of all, what I can do, I can label my triangle ABC. Why not? So I can now say that angle C equals 65 degrees and the reason I know that is because I'm working with an isosceles triangle. Okay? Now, if I know that's 65 degrees and that's 65 degrees then obviously I should be able to work out the third angle which is the one at the top so angle A is the one I'm going to get work on now and the thing that's going to come to mind now is the fact that all three angles in the triangle make up to 180 degrees now the two I've got so far 65 and 65 add those together and I'm going to get 130 degrees okay I know all three angles make 180 so if I take away the 130 from 180 I get 50 degrees. What have I used? Well, the fact I've used is that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay? Now, at the moment, I I named it angle A, I've worked with angle A, but just to make sure I get the marks, just to make sure, I'm going to put X equals 50 degrees, okay? Now, what I'm going to do also is, I'm just going to extend this line because they sometimes have a question where they want you to work out two angles X and Y. Now we know X, so they might want you to work at angle Y as well. Okay? Now, I've just extended a straight line, so I should be able to work out angle Y because angles that meet together on a straight line have to make 180 degrees. Those two angles there. Some students might think that this plays a part as well. It doesn't. It does not meet with these two. It's only these two that make up 180 degrees. So y plus 65 equals 180. So I should be able to work out angle y if I take away 65 from 180. So if I take away 60, I get 120. Take away 5 more, that's 115 
degrees for angle Y. And the fact I used was that angles in a straight line, straight line equals 180 degrees. Okay.